Hello, we're the BRF Messy Church team. I'm Jane Ledbetter. I'm Lucy Moore. And I'm Martin Payne. And it's a really busy time, isn't it, when we try and prepare for our Messy Church. so much to do. No, but how are we fitting in prayer, do you think? Mm. Well, I have to confess that when we first started Messy Church, it actually took us a good few years before we managed to prioritise a prayer time as a team. We pray individually, but to pray as a team, it took us a good long time before we got round to doing that. I'm really glad we did. Mm. Um, we needed to, but it did take us a while. Mm. And I can say the same for my messy church in Liverpool. Um, and indeed, it's taken us probably more years than that I can remember now, but we've got um, an introduction of prayer from the team time, through to the activity time, through to the celebration time, and it included in the meal time as well. Great. So we're rather pleased with the pattern that we've made. Mm -hmm. But Martin, you visited lots of messy churches. Ooh, it's what not have all you been observed? like that. <laughs> um, yes, I have visited quite a lot of messy churches, as people know. And I've kept reflections from those messy churches. And interestingly, prayer isn't always part of my reflection. I, I don't see it being mentioned, it being happening much. And that's partly because actually it didn't happen very often. Or if it did happen, it was. A moment at the end of the messy church celebration, someone stood up and said a, a few words of prayer, Amen, and then we were off to our food together. There wasn't the creativity or the interactive side of that particular prayer, that part. Therefore, the ones I do remember is where it was interactive, where it fitted the theme in some way. It, it, it built on what already had happened. For example, uh, it may be that uh, the light of the world was the theme, Jesus being the light of the world. So people lit a candle, or a floating candle maybe, or they brought up a, a paper light candle which they put against a big collage, or I remember once when they, they had um, torches or, or their, their phone uh, lights lighting up a part of a big map of the world they were praying for. So people were involved in, in, in the praying, and that was memorable and good. And there's one though in your book, which is great, which um, everyone might know this, um, it's, it's writing a, a prayer on a paper aeroplane. So people are making their paper aeroplanes, You've all got your own designs for that. And then they wrote the people they wanted prayers for. Mm. And on the count of three, a great launching of the planes disappeared all around the room. <laughs> and people took home a different plane, of course, and could go on with their prayers. So it was about the power of prayer and about continuing to prayer. So that's a prayer. That was a good example. That's, that's a, in your book. It yeah. is. It's a good creative prayer. And there's lots more creative prayer ideas in this book. We have ideas to help you with praying for your team. Mm -hmm to pray for your congregations and to pray for your community and perhaps even an away day. So please look on our website if you want to know more about how to purchase our Messy Prayer book. But we want to hear from you anyway. Yeah. We'd love you to look at our video description and get in touch with us and tell us how you're fitting prayer into your Messy Churches. But to finish, can we pray for you please. in the words of the Messy Grace? Oh. Yeah, I'm sure you'll know this. <laughs> May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.